Curious John. So before I get started, let me let me uh, talk about the potential elephant in the room. There's going to be quite a bit of uh, maybe external noise. Tra testing out a new recording setup, and I'm currently driving. Don't tell the uh, DMV. And I'm going to try to multitask because, as I've mentioned many a times on this podcast, it's hard to really tell when one is going to get motivation. <laughs> and so as I, uh, as I go into my story for today, you'll realize kind of why I'm doing it now. If you follow me on Instagram and you're the select, select few people that actually are part of my quote-unquote close friends circle on my Instagram account, you'll know that like today was the first day I posted a workout clip or video or picture really in a very long time. If you've been keeping track, which I'm sure you psychos are not, I... I took a long break from working out. Some of it was to enjoy the, the, the winter holiday season. Some of it was because I was extremely busy. Some of it is because I took a couple days off of work and I just honestly wanted to focus on some of the garage projects. Now one of the things I, I was going to focus or try to focus on this year was to enjoy the process and I try to take a different approach on my projects in the garage, my woodworking projects for those that don't know. And so I was really trying to enjoy my my final few days, weeks of 2022. So I said, I'm gonna take some time off. And I know there's a couple things that occur usually when I do so. I've talked about it a million times, but I'll bring it up for those that are new on the podcast. I often designate monkey shit as like this internal angst that builds up for me and likely for you as well when you don't work out some of your frustrations and some of your anger and some of your angst with life and i do that not through the woodworking but through physical exertion through hard workouts i've been doing workouts for a while now where there's really hasn't been a goal per se there hasn't been a a, a measurable goal to achieve like a specific weight or weight lifted or a specific body composition, right? So it's just been about doing it. And I do it because it's a mental sanity thing for me. It's a way for me to release some of the energy that is unavoidably built up through living life. You know, whether it's drama, whether it's work problems, whether it's your internal angst or problems, whether it's the, 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 the cars life has dealt at you. There's got to be, in my opinion, a healthy way for you to approach dealing with those things because otherwise there's other side effects and ramifications that come from it, whether it's emotional codependency issues with, with substances, whether it's your body legitimately breaking down. So there's always side effects, relationships being affected, whatever. So. I knew there was going to be a buildup of, of a certain level of angst and a certain level of frustration and I was ready to deal with that. And I'm, those of you that know me, at least up to this level, might get the inkling or on a personal level, might get the inkling that I'm a pretty disciplined person so it's never been a question of like whether or not I would get back to working out. In fact, I, I of, often see it as like a crucial thing. Like for me, for me, working out is as crucial as drinking water. It's as crucial as eating. Why? Because I know myself. I know myself very well. I know myself at a level where I know I'll get snappier with people. That, that, like that yin and yang. I always talk about the yin and yang, right? On last week's podcast, I, I mentioned a little bit about the the dickish side, like, that's what I called it, but I think I'm gonna come up with a better analogy for it. But ultimately, I know I can get there, so I need to be able to program certain things in my lifestyle that will give me a release and make me a more balanced person day to day. So today was the first day back, and to say the least, it was not an easy day. And that's not to say the workout was hard, because it was a relatively simple full body workout. but everything just felt harder, right? When your body is in a finely tuned machine, how douchey is that? It, it does, everything feels more difficult. Everything feels harder. If you've ever lifted weights and you take time off and you try to go back to those weights, 
depending on what kind of weight you're lifting, you're either going to be really sore or you're going to be potentially hurt because your body's just not conditioned to it. No different than when somebody does a lot of drugs, they get build up a tolerance, and then after a while they go back to those same drugs and then they overdose. It happens all the time. Body is, is just an adaption machine, and what you do with it is up to you. So today was hard, but it was fine. It was fine because I, I knew it was going to be not easy, but it was always ultimately fine in my mind because I had some of this quote unquote angst, frustration, whatever you want to call it, built up. I knew I was going to get to it. One thing I did notice is like I was thinking of this topic as I was working out because oftentimes also apart from this weird mental fog I have to have in order to have a certain level of verbal dexterity but also to have my mind flow a certain way, it sometimes arises from a workout. Um, I think often working out is great because it gives your mind something to kind of it lets your subconscious work is the way I would describe it. And that's why some people, especially back in the old days of, of Greek philosophers, they would often walk and talk because it sometimes helps jog the mind. But that's not the point. I digress. And as I worked out today, it was like difficult. There was, there was points where I was doing deadlifts with weight that I would have relatively repped easily. And while I was still able to rep it, the weight felt heavy. It felt nearly 50 80 pounds heavier and there was a few times within my sets that I, I got up from doing them and I got lightheaded and it took a minute to get back but that's okay that's okay like what it what it comes down to is that I have I have my purpose for doing what I do right and I keep my purpose close we talked about the monkey shit we talked about why it helps me balance out. And so keeping, keeping perspective close is very key to me. And so knowing that I know those things about me and knowing that when I don't do those things, it doesn't just affect my, my mood. It doesn't just affect my work performance, my tolerance of other people's blurbs or, or emotional angst. It doesn't just affect my relationships with people because I, I can snap at them a lot easier. I lose my patience a lot easier. It affects everything around me. And because of that, it's, it's a must do. And so I keep that purpose close and that allows me to get things done a lot easier. And I was thinking about how I keep eluding, which I won't fully explain till I won't fully explain now. I'll explain at the end of the year, but I keep alluding to like this being a very difficult year. And as I sat there and like I was a little lightheaded and I was kind of hurting a little bit more than I should have and there was, there was little little pains that aren't usually there for me, I leaned into it. And that's typically what I do. When I allude to you guys that I tend to corner myself, I say this all the time for those that listen to the podcast, I tend to corner myself when it comes to how I do things. I corner myself into holes so I have to dig myself out. And it's sometimes only through that, through that struggle that you build character. And so I'm always up for some character building. It sucks, but I'm always up for it because you're better for it. Once again, the analogy of diamonds are built only under pressure. So when I sat there and I'm like sitting there a little lightheaded and a little, a little, a little uh, dizzy, I suppose, I'm sitting, sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, this sucks. But then I got hell of excited. I got hell of excited because while starting a thing anew sucks, it sucks because you suck at it, right? Nobody likes to suck at anything, but when you sit there and you're terrible at something, whether it's when I started woodworking or when I started doing fitness or when I started doing any of these endeavors, when it sucked, it sucked. But in the suck gives you a baseline to where you're going. But secondly, it also is, it is the greatest time where you're gonna make the greatest push forward. You're gonna see the greatest gains, the greatest learning opportunities. You're gonna make the most of that time. And so those quote unquote new gains that you gain when you're working out is those are the best. In doing that, once again, perspective came in and I sat there and I was excited about it because I knew that while this is temporary, the feeling of dizziness, the feeling of exhaustion, the feeling of, of uh, how could you let yourself get out of shape 
that, that disappointment in myself for, for now allowing to, to, to maintain as much as I can. Like, there came a, a point where the poo-pooing went away and it was like, all right, let's, let's get excited because that just means that the progression is gonna be that much faster. That just means that, the, that, that I can noticeably feel progress and I'm gonna be able to see it quickly. And that's when I quickly stepped up to the challenge and I was fucking excited. I was excited to get back into it and I was excited to get back where I was. And not just that, not just even to become better, but to get there as quickly as humanly possible. And some of you, some of you people that are very, very, very good at picking things up are gonna have picked up a lot of catchphrases in what I just talked about. In the last 10 minutes or so that I've been talking, I dropped a lot of key phrases that those of you that listen to this podcast should have recognized. The perspective, keeping things close, stepping up to the challenge of continuing to improve, to become better, to be where I was, trying to change the perspective on it versus being sad and moving on to, and sticking to that. You, you, you feel it, you feel your feelings as I've mentioned and you move on. All of those things and a few more that I'm not remembering at the moment because I'm multitasking are things that I've mentioned to you as gems on this podcast, as things that you should remember and I highly suggest you implement. Because when you use these tools, you come ahead so much further. And I keep reiterating that. And the reason also why I reiterate that, because I feel like I come on this podcast sometimes, and some of you just kind of maybe listen to it because you're friends of mine and you feel obligated. Some of you listen to it because maybe you find some sort of substance. Some of you listen to this because, you know, maybe you're just trying to get to know my, my headspace, right? Let me be very clear when I say this. I, if I am anything, I am a man of my word. And when I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And when I tell you that these are the values and core tools to my tool chest, if you will, they are. They are things that I treasure because they have helped me tremendously in my lifetime. So I, I, I don't just speak like some sort of wannabe motivational speaker. I am telling you about my life and I walk the fucking walk. And as I sat there contemplating this topic in the mirror while I was recovering between sets, I looked at myself and laughed internally because I looked at myself and I just got excited about the idea of progressing more than I ever have to the point where some of you know some of this headspace I can get into and I am ready to get back into shape. I'm not just ready to take on all the things that I agreed to take on this year. I am agreeing to take on all of that shit work my full-time job plus, maintain all of my projects that I have to do, maintain my relationships, keep up with my friendships, and also get in the best fucking shape I have ever gotten to. And some of you have seen those pictures, but I will tell you that right now, and you need to take control of your life in the way I'm describing taking control of mine and realize that you can do it and you are early enough in this year to make some real substantial fucking change. So I challenge you, it's a call to action really is what this is. I urge you to take advantage of this time that you've been given and do something with it. Whether or not you achieved what you wanted to last year, whether or not you wanted to do something and you got half of it done, or whether or not you didn't do anything because you gave up on your goals, I challenge you to do something with the time you have been allotted and take it on like a challenge and keep your why and your purpose close. God damn, folks, I am fucking fired up. I don't like to usually drop so many cuss words, but man, this is a good freaking day. That's it. That's all it is. And I don't want to continue to make this like a poo-poo, like you work on your goals thing. That's not what this is. This is hoping that you take this, whatever you take this as, this, the, these conversations, take this and ask yourself the question, are you going to feed off of this energy? Are you going to use this energy that I'm giving you? Or are you just going to poo-poo it and continue to feel bad for yourself? That's ownership, folks. That's it. 
hopefully, hopefully every single one of you is having a lovely day, a lovely week, and I hope that this helps, helped you in some sort of way. We'll talk next week. Thank you.